raised me, you know what I mean, to be who I am today as far as like just with the love and the, 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 the ambition because I rep my city. DJ Khaled is an American record producer, radio personality, rapper, DJ, and record label executive. He's also a radio host for the Miami-based urban music station WEDR and the DJ for the hip-hop group Terror Squad. He's the founder of a record label called We The Best Music Group. During his career, he's won an American Music Award, five ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Music Awards, two BET Awards, 13 BET Hip Hop Awards, one Grammy Award, one iHeart Radio Music Award, one MTV Video Music Award, and three Ozone Awards. In 2008, he received the DJ of the Year Awards, both at the Ozone Awards and the BET Hip Hop Awards. One of, one of the best DJs um, in the world, one of them, you know what I'm saying? There's so many of great ones, but definitely one of the best in the world. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Khaled Mohammed Khaled, but is also known as DJ Khaled, Beat Novocaine, Arab Attack, Terror Squadion, Mr. Miami, Big Dog Pitbull, The Don Dada. He was born November 26, 1975 in New Orleans, Louisiana, United States, making him 46 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.68 meters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. Khaled wrote the book The Keys, which made the New York Times bestseller list. The book includes his opinions on success, recounts life stories, and describes contributions from other musicians. He's also worked as an actor, starring in 2017's Pitch Perfect 3, 2019's Spies in Disguise, and 2020's Bad Boys for Life. In 2017, he won the award for Favorite Rap Slash Hip Hop Song at the American Music Awards for I'm the One, featuring Justin Bieber, Quavo, Chance the Rapper, and Lil Wayne. In November 2018, Khaled agreed to a total settlement of $750,000 with the Securities and Exchange Commission for failing to disclose payments accepted from issuers of an initial coin offering, specifying a personal $50,000 promotional payment from beleaguered cryptocurrency firm Centratech Incorporated, whose co-founders were indicted for fraud in May 2018. According to the SEC, they are its first cases involving charges for violating rules on touting investments in so-called initial coin offerings or ICOs. Boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. was also implicated in this event. His popularity on social media has led to many young fans calling DJ Khaled an internet phenomenon, even though he's been in the music business for decades and truly achieved fame on the radio. Still, his annex online are epic, hilarious, and are behind why DJ Khaled is often referred to as a living meme. He rarely takes himself seriously and has released videos that have attracted attention from millions around the world. He prefers to stay positive and won't allow himself to wallow in negativity. He said in interviews that he thinks harboring negative emotions blocks fulfillment in all areas of life, and he thinks it's a major waste of time. Calvin is a huge fan of egg whites, supposedly he eats them every day, and even has a personal chef named Chef D. Khaled and his wife, Nicole Tuck, have one son, Asad Tuck Khaled, born on October 23, 2016. He garnered national attention after streaming the birth live on his Snapchat account. On January 20th, 2020, Tuck gave birth to their second son. He was, and I, I had to stop him. I was just like, yo, first of all, I'm honored that you're saying that, but at the same time is, I gotta give all the props to God. He was born to Palestinian parents who emigrated to the United States. He's described himself as a devout Muslim. His brother, Alec Led, Alec Led, is an actor. His parents were musicians who played Arabic music. Khaled developed an interest in rap and soul music as a young boy, and his parents supported his interest he worked in a local record store, which helped to lay the foundation for his music career. Khaled became first known in the 1990s when he was a DJ on the Miami hip-hop radio station 99 Jams. His job at the radio station is what led the group Terror Squad to hire Khaled as their DJ. 
Once he had a few credits to his name with Terror Squad, Khaled moved into curating albums and released his debut studio album, Listen, the album, in 2006. Khaled went on to release We the Best in 2007, We Global in 2008, Victory in 2010, We the Best Forever in 2011, Kiss the Ring in 2012, Suffering from Success in 2013, I Changed a Lot in 2015, Major Key in 2016, Grateful in 2017, and Father of Assad in 2019. His album, Khalid Khalid, is set for a 2020 release. One of Khalid's most successful songs is All I Do Is Win, which features Ludacris, Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, and T-Pain. The song is off Khalid's 2010 album, Victory, and was the album's second single. The song's been certified three times platinum by the RIAA, Back in late 2015 and early 2016, some Snapchat videos of Khalid talking about his key to success got a lot of attention due to his larger-than-life personality. He became an internet star, and some people called him a living meme. Today, Khalid is one of the most sought-after producers in hip-hop and very popular social media personality. In 2018, he joined Demi Lovato as the opening act for her Tell Me You Love Me tour, which kicked off in San Diego, California in February and ran through July. On May 21, 2019, DJ Khaled shared a new video for Wish Wish featuring Cardi B and 21 Savage. Directed by Khaled and Aif Rivera, the clip features lots of explosions, fire, and motocross riders, which looks like a B-level early 2000s street racing movie raced into production to capitalize on the success of the first Fast and Furious. Man, you know what, Khaled dropped 12 albums, and, and this album, Khaled, Khaled, the, 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 the impact of the album and the records on the album, the way it's, it's, it's touching people. Khaled also earns tens of millions of dollars from endorsement deals with companies like Weight Watchers, T-Mobile, Ciroc, and Apple. Between September 2017 and September 2018, DJ Khaled earned an impressive $30 million thanks to touring, producing, and most importantly, endorsements. The vast majority of his earnings in a given year are from endorsements with companies like Ciroc, Apple, and even Weight Watchers. He's one of the highest paid people in hip hop, and his money doesn't actually have that much to do with hip hop or even music in general. He's also the owner of Finger Licking, which is a restaurant based in Florida. It's famously known for its delicious chicken wings and red velvet cake. He has a net worth of $75 million. In January 2017, Khaled purchased Robbie Williams' former house in Mulholland Estates, a gated community in Los Angeles, for $9.9 million. He sold this home in April 2021 for $12.5 million, $1.5 million over his original asking price. In 2018, Khaled purchased a waterfront home in Miami for $25.9 million. The sprawling waterfront estate is located in the posh suburb of Aventura within the gated community Island Estates. In the 6,700 square feet of living space, there are five bedrooms and six bathrooms. The home includes a room dedicated to Khaled's massive sneaker collection, including floor-to-ceiling wooden shelving and We the Best imprinted on the floor. He owns the following cars, a 1991 BMW M3, a 2018 Range Rover Sport, a 2018 Cadillac Escalade, a 2017 Rolls-Royce Wraith, a 2016 Rolls-Royce Ghost Series 2, a 2017 Rolls-Royce Dawn, a 2012 Maybach 57S, a 2013 
The 2018 Rolls-Royce Phantom 8 The 2017 Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe The 2012 Maybach Landolet.